developing tonight in Denver. Hundreds of migrants staying at a motel turned shelter have no clue what is next for them. The motel off I-70 in Vasquez was sold and migrants are being told they have to leave before the weekend is over. Many are people who already timed out at Denver's at capacity shelters or could never find space to begin with. Your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Arenas, has been closely following Colorado's migrant crisis. Young Prince is cooking lunch for those staying at her motel. The plate! For some, it's the last time. I'm ready to eat it. By Monday, hundreds of migrants who have been staying at this motel must leave and find new shelter. Have they been packing their stuff? I don't know. I'm still feeding. That's my job so they can eat. But she wishes she could do more than just cook one last meal for them. Yeah, no problem. Tears rolled down her face knowing people like Alexandria Ledesma, the single mother of three, will have to leave soon. No, fuerte. We're all feeling really sad. Ledesma took us into the room she and her kids have called home for the past three months. We're still packing. A bunch of suitcases filled with belongings were stacked together in the corner of the room with less than 48 hours to figure out where they'll go next. I fear having to sleep in the streets because if it was just me, I can do it. But with kids, it's going to be hard. If she has to, it wouldn't be the first time. In November, she slept with her kids outside in freezing temps for a couple of days before stumbling upon this motel. Prince says she'd like to lease another property with her own money to help families like Ledesma's soon. I'm going to go farm to look for land. Somebody can help me and I got the money to spend it. They call me mama, so we are family. But the reality is many will have nowhere to go. It's a human issue and I mean, we shouldn't have people on the streets. Christina Ascension says she donated $45,000 to help young Prince shelter some families. But expenses have quickly outnumbered donations. She's came out of pocket every month, probably about fifty to one hundred thousand dollars. This is not sustainable for anybody. Most of the families have to leave the property by Monday, but the current owner, Young Prince, tells us that she's hoping she can at least keep ten families until the twenty eighth. That's when she'll have to leave the property. In Denver, Jasmine Adenas covering Colorado First.